in a recent episode of the Rant Band Confession Podcast, hosted by popular Instagram influencer Ogechi Okonu, popularly known as Caramel Plug, and co-host Lydia Balogun and Malaya Michaels, had a very special episode with reality star and BBN's former housemate, Bamike Adeni Bunya, popularly known as Bam Bam. The influencers gathered to all share their insights on African parents and Gen Z. Later on, going into the podcast, Bam Bam answered a very controversial question. The question says, what I would do if my child asks for a gender change. But before I proceed, this is Aprokoji TV, a platform where we give you trending latest updates happening in the world of social media. Now, if you haven't already, do subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like and turn on your notification bell to get notified when we drop a new video. And on our Facebook page, it's at Aprokoji TV, where we give you trendy updates. And to all our returning subscribers, much love from we here. Thank you for always staying tuned with us. And yes, this promises to be yet another interesting episode of Trending Gist. To all our viewers, relax, enjoy, and stay tuned. Bam Bam, during an interactive podcast session, addressed the issue of gender orientation that is generally becoming a reality, particularly in the Western world. She stated that she would go as far as educating her daughter on the difference between sexual organs. BB Niger star Bamike Adeni Buinya, aka Bam Bam, speaks on her approach on handling her child if she ever requests a gender change or feels she's masculine. The mother of two doing an interactive podcast session address the issue of gender orientation that is generally becoming a reality particularly in the western when bam bam was asked about her possible reaction to her child seeking a gender change she emphasized on enlightening the child bam bam stated that she'll go as far as educating her daughter on the difference between sexual organs she said if something within you feels like you are masculine we would go talk to jesus about it and fix it i believe that god created created man and woman for a reason let's take a look at the video um, now i hear you i mean i concur I, you know i stand with that but in a situation whereby you give birth to a girl now you have two girls a situation whereby maybe she comes when she's about five year old or seven year old and she's like um i think i want to be a boy so I really want to have be part of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea would drag me like, like small gen. What, what are you saying? Like, no, like, like you know, what gender, were you gender, gender, gender. gender. That's why I said. So I didn't call. I didn't call yeah. the alphabet community, but I knew that the. You don't want to say their name. I didn't want to say it. That's why I said don't come for me. But I know that the alphabet community have their opinions about dad moms. They feel like it's okay to have mom moms and dad dads. So to each yeah, his own, to each each his own. own and nobody is superimposing anything. But I believe in the balance of life. I believe that God created man, woman for a reason. Mm. And I have noticed and according to statistics, most those that grounded men, a grounded man married to a grounded woman always raised an emotionally balanced child that eventually becomes a blessing to society right yeah. then when you become a teenager you start to have opinions about life you have to start to have choices and then you can choose mm -hmm. to now want to either become a mess of yourself mm -hmm. or to become a blessing to mm -hmm. society if my child tells me mom i want to become a boy i would ask questions and mm -hmm. i would reorient and educate and still tell the child to decide why well, i go on my knees and tell my father in heaven to fix his mind <laughs> That is what I shall do. Yeah. I love that answer rather Me than, too. you know, I will educate. I'll say, look, yeah, baby, was... biologically, you have, I will show my own and show the girl's own. Look, we have the same thing. <laughs> Daddy's own is different. I'm going to open a book. I won't go bring a naked man and show her, but I will show her this is what boys have that makes them boys. This is what girls have that makes them girls. Mm -hmm. And I cut into history. And it got into creation. Yeah. God create woman this way and yeah. man this way. Mm -hmm. But if something within you feels like you're masculine, we're going to talk to Jesus about it and fix mm -hmm. it, okay? But right now, I'm just going to pray with you and tell you that I don't think that mindset is correct. 
But we're gonna talk to Jesus while you also decide. But this is what is going on. Do you still think you're a boy? Even mm -hmm. though you're feeling like it, maybe it's just a phase. Mm -hmm. Watch it and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give her a choice, educate her, and pray and fast mm -hmm. and talk to my Because Another father. thing is that like so many people, you know, there's they're they're such believers, like right? They're believers and I'm also a Christian. God's will is always going to be done. So instead of being so cutthroat and all up in like forceful with a child and traumatizing a child like no don't feel this way shaking them no, 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 and, no, no. and isolating them and making them feel ashamed of themselves like no, 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 no. you know like you said educate and go back to your maker the one that you want sends to the child to yeah. me i did not ask it so oh, what would you God say God. about like what I'm about the children that are not trying to like let's say change their gender like gender reassignment Personally, I but want they want to, to dress I want feminine to, I want to the boys that want to dress and feminine. the girls that want to dress masculine they're not trying to change their gender what would you say about that like how would something you something inspired that? it something influenced it yeah. so we'll get to the root of it and we'll ask questions see everything will be okay with them just wearing whatever people they call wanted. it cross dressing yeah Some people if call my it child it, wakes up and says mom so the thing is because of how i know my parenting would evolve yeah and how i'm projecting that i would be as a parent yeah mm -hmm. it will take my child a lot to get to that place but god forbid yeah i have to deal with that situation i would ask i would always ask questions we, first we, at least before the child gets to the point where he wants to start making strong decisions like that where did you get the money to buy the clothes that you want to be wearing first where like what is going on because i know it will take a, a lot maybe they will be hiding it first mm. you know but then if i eventually it's not as if you will not do it in my house first because i won't create the atmosphere for that mm. except jesus has stopped existing in my life <laughs> you understand but if it ever has to happen mm -hmm. i would want to understand where it came from mm. i would really so rather than know. just like no i'm not gonna ever see it already i've started doing it i have a principle Baby, I would love you no matter what. Mm, I'm that so nice. parent. That's so like I say, I tell her, I say, I say, my, I say, Zen Maya, I love you no matter what. Like my kids now know the moment they yeah. feel like they see their nanny, Auntie Peace, I love you. So they already just know that anyone who shows kind, they they, they are familiar with kindness. They're familiar with mm -hmm. certain things. So it will break my heart because I know that's not what I want for my child. But I will want to understand. Oh my God! You and know, accept them regardless. How many? Yeah. Like you know, like how we're all so brought up differently, right? How many like um, how many um children or how many of us can actually tell our parents, "I love you"? Oh my God, oh, that is I so do. true. And the I first time I ever tried to tell my mom I love you, I just ended up calling me because it was so awkward. Yeah. Oh, we didn't grow up in that type of yeah. yeah I, and, and it, it makes me weird around that. Like it's. Wow, this is a very educative and I'm sure to most people a very relatable content. Most of what they said one way or another fits into our general upbringing as even the topic suggests African parenting styles. My take on this is that you should always make your children feel safe around you. You should always make your children feel like they can talk to you about anything. Some adults right now didn't really enjoy the luxury of having parents that they could share anything with and I mean anything. Bam Bam's style and the structure she has set for herself and her children is a very remarkable one. So guys hit us up in the comment section what you think about this. Do you think that the African parent style trend is something that should live on forever or do you think there's a better way to go around things in this modern age? or you feel that it's actually a way to incorporate the African parenting style and the modern style of raising children. Let us know in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. On that, guys, it's a wrap. If you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube page at Apokoji TV and on our Facebook is at Apokoji, where we give you trending latest updates happening on social media. Till I come your way next, stay safe, guys.